Hey guys, Elisa here. I am going to show you what I typically send out as thank you mail after every month. Um, anybody who ordered online usually gets something in the mail. This is the back side of one, so I like to use colored envelopes because no one likes to get white bills in the mail. Everybody likes to get birthday cards, right? So when you have an envelope that stands out from everything else, in the mailbox when you go check your mail you're gonna be excited right so everybody loves colorful mail because you know that ain't a bill so I use all the this is the pack I get I get them on Amazon and then I have some stuff right here um, I typically use Scentsy washi tape so you can get these in the consultant store and then I made my own little like thank you seal sticker this is an Avery template 228 07 and these are glossy um, I just made it in made an image in Canva and then I uploaded that image to Avery and just printed them at home so that is my seal that goes on the back and then just got the um, stickers from the consultant store again I have like a whole stack as you can see here that I have over the years even if it's not current I sometimes just throw it on there because I want the mail to be smelly mail I want it to smell great and you never know that scent might come back later for bring back my bar and so on and so forth so this is the back and then of course on the front I would write the address put my return label and then I would take another one of the smelly stickers and put like one right here and then one on the other side of their address so I like to color coordinate so like I'll use like a, a blue on top of pink to make a pop or like that green looks really good on top of the pink so I like to color coordinate I like to put the difference so like this is dish soap this is body wash um, you got the pets paw prints here. I like to make sure they're all different um, stickers so it's not just the bar shaped ones. What's inside this envelope? So let's take a look. So I typically always put a hand printed letter and I say hand printed. I create this stationery on Canva and then I open up the image after I saved it on my iPad Pro. And then I write my message. It's not always the same every month. This is what it is this month. And I then print it from that image. So I'm not having to write 20 different letters, but it's still a handwritten note. Um, if you don't have a iPad like I do with the iPencil, you could always just make stationary, print it, and then write it once and copy it if you have a copier printer. I also include my um, newsletter for the month. So this month is June. So this is something I created in Canva. It's a template I've been using every month. I just rearrange it. And then always add, I always add the scent of the month flyer with a felt sample. So this is a really thin felt sample. It does not, um, it doesn't make it the envelope too thick. So super thin, you could get 50 of these out of like one and a half cubes of your wax bar. So it doesn't even take a lot of wax either. And then everybody always gets a scent circle. I don't pick the scents out. I just have a stack of them and I just pick one randomly and they go in the envelope. And last but not least, a card, a thank you card. Um, thank you for your purchase, made my day and hope this package brightens yours. And on the back, um, you've got great taste. Now flaunt it, tag me on Instagram. This is a um, creation of Steffi Marlboro. So thank you for that. I just turned mine purple. I believe her original one was a light pink and white. So I also include one of those. So that's super simple. Sometimes I might add um, different extra things. It might be Scentsy Club cards or different little informational cards. So it's super simple. I like, again, I like to make it decorative, make it flashy when they open their mailbox, and I like it, make it smell good with the stickers. I also wanted to add that every single one of my Happy Mail envelopes ships for a 70 cent non-machinable stamp here. I've seen the butterflies come in this purple and yellow, and as long as it's under two ounces, and it fits through this slot here. Let's do this one handed. See that it has to fit through there and then it won't be considered a parcel so as long as it fits through the slot 
Um, I actually got this on Etsy. I believe it's a uh, 3D printed. Um, and then you can order the, the stamps online or go to your post office. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.